Vaccine anticipation hit a fevered pitch in recent weeks. Are they effective? And if so, when would we see them? Well, today, Canadians were given the most definitive date yet to circle on their calendars. The doses for Canada, we expect to receive 4 million doses between January and March of the Pfizer vaccine, 2 million for Moderna. So that's two different vaccines, with possibly more becoming available soon, which epidemiologists say is important because not every vaccine works well for everyone. And the Pfizer product in particular has its limitations. A significant fly in the ointment with the Pfizer vaccine is it needs to be stored at incredibly cold temperatures. And, you know, very few places have the facilities for such a deep freeze. So there's a lot of obstacles that really have to be surmounted with this. The obvious issue is a limited number of doses available right away. So a tentative rollout plan would look something like this. Canadians at high risk, be it elderly or those with high risk conditions, would get it first, followed by frontline workers, which includes workers in health care and long term care facilities, as well as people living with high risk individuals. The third group would be workers essential to society, such as police, firefighters and grocery store staff. Fourth, high risk zones like indigenous communities. With two autoimmune diseases, Georgina Monteith qualifies for the first group, but says she'll decline. She lost both her legs to diabetes, and with a compromised immune system, she doesn't trust any new medication in her system. I don't want to have any kind of a adverse reaction to the vaccine where my body itself starts thinking this is something it needs to attack or the vaccine does the reverse and attacks something in my own system. Initial reports show the vaccine is effective with few side effects. So as much as the disbursement has to be fair, the government also has to communicate how safe it is. And realistically, even with the vaccine, we won't get rid of COVID-19 overnight. We're going to have to wear masks and keep our distance and limit gatherings and stuff well into next fall, probably. You know, because it's going to take a while to get immunogenic saturation in the population to reach herd immunity. Mike Trollet, Global News, Toronto.